So with all these factors in play, uh, the testes determining factor, uh, we get it from the Y chromosome and the SRY gene and the testes then producing the testosterone and the Sertoli cells of the, testo uh, of the testes producing the Mullerian inhibiting factor, uh, we will have uh, the development of a normal male. And if we don't have a Y chromosome, we won't have testes determining factor, we won't have a testes, and we won't have the same levels of testosterone, and we won't have Mullerian inhibiting factor, so this pre-programmed female is going to develop and this uh, into a female when, when there are no factors present none of these factors the TDF, the testosterone, the MIF when they are not present uh, then this development will normally proceed and this embryo will develop normally into a female so in order to uh, uh, develop a normal male, a normal male reproductive uh, structures, you need all these factors. So, we see since that uh, this is a multifactorial process of developing uh, a normal male, uh, if any of these factors are out of place, this affords the opportunity of gender, mixed gender abnormalities. For example, if due to some reason there is the presence of testes determining factor and we have a testes which is producing testosterone, but somehow the testes are not producing the Mullerian inhibiting factor, then there will be development of both male and female reproductive structures. There will be penis, scrotum, prostate, seminal vesicles, as well as the fallopian tube, the uterus, the cervix, and the vagina. So we will have the different kinds of abnormalities, of mixed gender abnormalities, and uh, there can be a number of combinations of this depending on what factor is out of place. So, since we've covered the uh, development of the gonad testes of the ovaries, the next video will be on uh, how these gonads produce their gametes. Thank you.